Okay, welcome to part two of our Space Invaders uh, tutorial. Let's take a look at what we have so far. So we've basically, we've created our window and we've drawn a border where our game play will take place and we've created our player down here. Now our player doesn't really do anything yet, uh, so that's what this lesson is about. We're gonna learn how to move our player left and right by using the arrow keys. So let's get started. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to think about how our player is going to move. So as I mentioned, we're going to be using our arrow keys. So what we want to happen is when we press the left arrow, we want the player to move left by a certain distance. And when we press the right arrow, we want the, the player to move right by a certain distance. So we'll refer to this as player speed. So I'm going to create a variable and just I'm going to use 15 because I've already gone through the program, but 15 works out pretty well. And this is something you may need to tweak based on your system speed or just you know, how you want the gameplay to, to work. But for now, let's go with that. And so what we need to do is we need to do two things. We need to create functions. So one for moving the player left and another function for moving the player right. And then actually and two more things. Then we need to bind those functions to a key. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so first, let's do left. So move left. So I created a function. It's very clear what this does. Move left. And so what I need to do is thinking about this. So when I start the game, the player is at x equals 0. So if I push the left arrow key, I want x to reduce by the speed, in this case it's 15. So 0 will go to minus 15, then minus 30, then minus 45. So what I have to do, okay, now I'm writing this out uh, kind of long form. I could do this in basically one line, but uh, as we're just kind of getting used to Python, I'm going to write it through step by step. So what I need to do is I need to get the x-coordinate, the current x-coordinate. So it's player.xcore. So when we start the game, this is going to be 0. Of course, as the game goes on, that will change. So then I want to change x minus equals player speed. So what this little construct here does is it takes the current value of x, subtracts player speed, and assigns that to x. So when we start the game, x is 0 x minus equals 15 means x is now minus 15. Okay, so that subtracts player speed each time, uh, once we bind it, each time we press the left arrow key. Okay, so then what we have to do is we have to set player x to x. Okay. So we're going to take the current x, subtract the speed, and change the player's location, or x coordinate at least, to the new x. Now, before we can get that to work, we have to create what's known as keyboard bindings. So first, this is part of the turtle module. So we have to tell the turtle to listen for keyboard actions. And we're using a method called onKey. So on key, then the function name, which is move left, and the key, which is left. Okay, so what this tells us is when I push the left key, the left arrow key, I'm going to call the function move left. So that'll take us up to here. It does all that magic that we just talked about. So let's take a look at that and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to push the left arrow key. Boom, boom. Okay, so my player is moving 15 pixels each time. So now, all you do is the exact opposite for move right. Now, what I would do is, if I were you, is I would pause here and try to figure it out yourself. And uh, if you can, great. If not, then come back to the video. So instead of subtracting, we're going to be adding. And same thing, player dot set set x x, and then we gotta remember to bind it. Okay, 
And in this case, we're using the right. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's run that. Okay, so left works and right works. Now, if we keep going, can you notice we can move off the, off the screen outside the border? Okay, so we need to fix that. Okay, this is a kind of called you know boundary checking is usually what you'll see it referred to. Um, so it doesn't cause an error in the program; it just makes it look you know not quite as attractive. So what we want to do is in here. So we want to take our new x location and make sure that it's inside the boundaries. So if x is less than 280, we want to set it to 280. So what we're saying is that the lowest value that we'll accept for x is minus 280. So we'll come all the way over here. So let's say I hit the left arrow and then x is now minus 290. It'll move the, the player back to 280, which has the effect of blocking it. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to push left, 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 left. Okay. So no matter how much I push left, it will not move it to that spot. It stops it at the 280 mark, or minus 280. So again, I would stop the video here, see if you can get it sorted for the other side. If you didn't stop it, or if you're back, 280. So on that end, x equals 280. And let's try it out. Okay, so right. Okay, it stops. And left. Get over there. Boom. Okay, and that is that. Okay, so in this lesson, we have learned how to actually learned quite a bit. We've learned how to move our, our uh, player character on the screen. Uh, we've done boundary checking, which is uh, very important in video games. And we've also learned how to bind functions to a key press. Okay, let's get to part three coming up.